Hey guys, this is the Prince of Macedon, and I'm doing a commentary video for Empire Total War Multiplayer. This is a USA versus Russia battle. I'm in command of the USA here, and my opponent is General Lee in command of the Russians. Let's go look at my army of the USA. Here I've got two units of light dragoons, and they're followed up by six units of these uh, long riflemen. Those are my elite skirmishers, and since this is a late period battle, we both have access to elite skirmishers. Alright, let's go look at my main infantry body. It consists of six units of Minutemen. Then I have one unit of guards. There they Orders are. Understood. And I've got several units of these grenadiers. Alright, I've taken my light dragoons and I've ran over to this side right here. I see my opponent camping right there, so I'm going to try to um, make him shuffle his army around. I'm going to make him think that I'm going to fortify this position on his right flank. And hopefully that'll force him to move his troops, which it did. You can see his troops rushing over to his right flank, and that's exactly what I was hoping for. So he, anyways, he has 7 units of Cossack infantry, then he has 7 units of riflemen, and, which are his elite skirmishers, then he has 3 squadrons of General's bodyguards. So he has more um, elite skirmishers, but um, I have the element of surprise because my guys are creeping up on him, my long riflemen. And plus I forced him to uh, shuffle his army around. Alright, so these are my Light Dragoons here. I'm going to dismount them. I'm going to let these guys fight on foot. Or that was my intention anyways. But anyways, that's them dismounting. And I'm just going to leave these guys right here. And this is more of a distraction force. I mean, it could be decisive. Depends what my opponent does. He sees my cavalry and he forms into a square. So he's expecting me to uh, remount and charge into his right flank. Anyways, I'm bringing up my long riflemen, and they are just uh, creeping up there. When they're creeping like this, that means my opponent can't see them. Typically I don't do this, but since you guys have never seen this, I decided to show you what it looks like. That's them creeping up. And once again, they cannot be seen when they're doing that. That's one of the uh, huge advantages of American long riflemen. You can see them creeping. Alright, and um... Here I'm using Minutemen here. Advance it forward. We both have very uh, a very ragtag bunch of troops here. I'm using mainly uh, militia or um, Minutemen, who are militia, and my opponent's using mainly uh, Cossack infantry. All right, so I'm gonna bitch up my guys a little more. Then I'm going to open fire on him, and he does not see this coming. He might expect it, but he doesn't see it coming. So it's a bit of a uh, psychological blow. Alright, so I'm taking shots at his dudes now. His uh, riflemen are out of position just because he was moving them to meet the threat on his right flank. So he's gonna try to reshuffle his guys again. By the time his riflemen start returning fire, he's already lost, I don't know, maybe a dozen of his dudes already. Anyways, I detached a unit of Minutemen, I'm not sure if you saw them, but I'm running them up the hill to reinforce my Light Dragoons on that little little canoe there, or whatever that is. Okay. So yeah, he's camping, but um, the problem with camping is that it means he's uh, vulnerable to uh, maneuver. And on this map, I can use some maneuvering to, to out-position him. So now I have all my uh, riflemen in position to uh, open fire. And although he has more good skirmishers than me, his guys are at a supreme disadvantage now, just because they were caught out of position. Okay, so that unit of riflemen is pretty much gone. I formed up some Minutemen in front of my Light Dragoons here. And I remounted my uh, Light Dragoons. Because I see his uh, cavalry coming in for an attack. So I want to counter charge him. So here comes his cavalry. Is our general's body parts. And my minimum can actually get off a volley of very murderous fire against them. So I, I took down a few horses there. Probably quite a lot, actually. And I have my electric goods in the back ready to counter charge. There they are, they got their sabers drawn out. And I'm gonna go in for the kill. Down these dudes. 
not sure why he brought three squadrons of the general's bodyguard. Usually one's plenty. Having three is kind of a waste of money, in my opinion. But since I'm still learning this game, I don't really know all the nuances of troop composition yet. Alright, so I've got these electric goods ready to strike. And for some reason, they are charging into his uh, infantry there. But I had targeted his, uh, the backs of his cavalry, but for some reason they went right into his uh, infantry square right there. And that was kind of a bug issue, so I retreated them. Anyways, on my right flank, he's charging in with his uh, Cossack infantry. And I have my my long rifleman on, uh, on uh, well, I guess, skirmish mode or whatever you call it. So they ran away from them. So they have their backs turned to those dudes. He's going to come forward again with these guys. But I'm just going to uh, pour some, some gunfire into those dudes there. You can see him breaking. You can tell by that blinking the white flag. And he's going to continue to charge, hopefully trying to run into my skirmishers there, but they finally rout. But over on my extreme right, his uh, other Cossacks, they did make it to my um, to my front ranks there, on my right flank. So here's our troops going out in melee style. But it's only one unit that got through, so I wasn't too worried about that. Meanwhile, I finally got my electric units to charge into his... Um, General's bodyguards there, so now his, uh, his Russian cavalry is starting to rout now. And that's where his general's at, right in the thick of that little uh, mess right there. There he is. And he's trying to reinforce with some uh, Cossack infantry. He's got two units of them trying to join the fight, but they are starting to uh, break. They have very poor morale. Yeah, we both brought these uh, low grade troops. Orders, infantry. Although I have this one unit of guards here, and these guys are very elite. The reason we brought so many uh, low grade troops is because this is a mediums fun game. Had this been high, we probably would have been using more uh, more uh, line infantry. Anyways, on my right flank, I'm going to reinforce my my front right ranks there with some uh, long riflemen, and I'm going to charge it with my sabers. So I have destroyed his uh, right flank there with my left flank. And I'm going to uh, continue the pressure. And I'm going to take one unit of light grids and I'm going to chase down his uh, units that are routing. Because a lot of the units that are routing, they're actually still pretty healthy. So I want to slaughter them, make sure they don't come back. So here's the pursuit here. And that was one very good use of cavalry in the uh, in this time period was to uh, chase down uh, routing units here, making sure they didn't reform. And so that's me taking out his uh, his retreating Cossack infantry dudes. Now I'm taking the rest of my guys. I'm going to uh, crash in on his right flank. I'm gonna try to roll it up. And I'm putting some flanky fire on his dudes there. And now you can see the routing. Those are my minute men and my guards there. And I take my uh, other units, electric units, and I'm gonna get behind his troops here over here and dismount. Here we go. These are my guys dismounting. I want to get some fire on these dudes. You can see them. He's trying to retreat to a um, a position a position further back, but I'm trying to uh, to corral his troops so that I can uh, encircle them. But he runs away from that encirclement. So I had to remount my horses there. You can see his general died there. But I'm um, gonna get back my horses. I'm gonna continue the pursuit of his troops. So here's my American force. Now his troops are breaking now. They were running in an orderly fashion, now they're breaking completely. It's kind of ironic though. My opponent's name was General Lee, and he was in command of the Russians, and my name was Bagration, in command of the uh, Americans. So uh, we really had reverse names in this situation. Anyways, that was a victory for me. I killed 993 of his troops, and I lost 398 of my guys. General Lee, he killed 328 of my troops, and he lost 1,136 troops. Good game to uh, General Lee. Hope you guys enjoyed.